Today's video, I'm gonna show you how to uh, basically type up an email and save a template in MailChimp. And the reason you wanna do this is because sometimes you've got emails you're sending multiple times that are mostly the same with a few very small uh, details changed. And you can do this as long as you're within the one account, you can do it across multiple audiences and it's a very handy tool. So let's get into it. So I'm logged into my MailChimp and the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to create a campaign. Create email campaign. And we're gonna just stick with regular for now. I'll give the campaign a test. I'm gonna say template test and begin. And this is here who I wanna send this campaign to. And when I click add recipients, I've got two audiences. I've got this martial arts designer one and portfolio. And they're only small little test uh, audiences I have here. But what if I wanna send the same email across audiences or across different dates? This is where it becomes pretty handy. For now, we're gonna go with portfolio and save just to pick our audience and uh, the from is okay subject we'll add a subject so maybe we'll call this monthly update of some sort you can add a preview text if you want this monthly updates uh, save so we just need to fill out this area the to the from the subject and then we get on to the content where we click design email So this is my newsletter, essentially. I've got a heading here, so maybe I wanna say something like, you know, uh, December's updates. And I've got a photo here, maybe I wanna change this photo. So I select an image, just something I've already got here. Maybe something like this, just for the hell of it. And maybe I type in here, this month, we have a lot going on. Here are the dates. So you can go into as much detail as you want. I'm gonna try and get through this pretty quickly so that way you're not left watching all the boring bits and pieces. But I've hit enter, I'm gonna say, so 14th of December, we'll say, you know, end of year party. And uh, maybe I'll go through and add in and style this the way I want to. And I'll add in something else, I'm gonna say 16th of December, break up. Well, some, this is something, anything that you would think you need to change or something you need to change in the future. Say 25th of December, Christmas day, something like that. Now you can go through and use the editor, create whatever you want. You can add button text if you've got something you wanna to link to. Uh, we might just get rid of that for this video and we'll simply move this by dragging, move it up. And maybe we'll move this logo down and just, just move things around a little bit so we've got something here. So we've got our email, we've got this, December's updates, and just something basic. Like I said, you can add as much as you want, but we're more concerned with is the templates. So over here on the left, if I've clicked here, I've got uh, options on the left for my text, which is, uh, you know, if you use the block editor, if you use the editor before a MailChimp, uh, you'll understand that. But if I click off into the background, so this gray area here, I get this option here for templates. So I click on that, and if I want to, I've already got templates here, but if I click the little heart symbol, it will save this template, I give it a name, which I have done this a couple of times, template test one, and I click save, return to campaign. So let's say now I'm done with this campaign, I'm gonna send it out for December, I click continue, and everything's all good to go, and I can either schedule or just go ahead and send this campaign now that I'm ready. So what happens now when I go back out to the dashboard, because I don't want to send that right now. So remember to click send if you want to send that email. And I've come back a month later, it's January. So I click create, I get email, regular, and maybe this time I'll say January newsletter or whatever I want to call it and click begin. We go to, now if we were sending this to the same audience, which would make sense, we go to portfolio again. But for the sake of video, I'm gonna choose a different audience in case you have different audiences you're trying to do this for. So I'm gonna choose martial arts designer, get started book and save. So we've got a different audience uh, subject line, we'll just call this January newsletter as before, save it. And we're basically good to go for our January email. So we go to design email.
Now we've got our typical starting template again. So I wanna make sure I'm clicked off and I have this templates button over here on the left. So I click on that and then I go over here to saved. And you see here, our December templates right here. I've also got other templates I've played with in the past. But I've got template test one, December updates. I simply apply this template and I can use existing content. So if I've got some information typed up, I can use that. I don't know how that would turn out with a very custom template. I'm just gonna start with a clean template. So it will appear exactly as you see over here. And you see now we have December's updates. So I can change this now to January's updates and I can change the dates as before. And yeah, start of the year party, something like that. So you, it is pretty easy to then go through and create a simple newsletter with some basic areas to update if you're sending something that is mostly the same. You get the idea. Uh, and you can go through and change everything. I'm gonna change this image again, change, select a new image. Go to this. And you can see the image has changed. So yeah, that's it. Now I know it's only a pretty basic feature, but uh, I did have someone ask about it recently and it's pretty straightforward. It's a great way to uh, keep a basic format for your email. So yeah, of course, once you're done, hit continue. We go through the same thing as we did before. We go through and when you're ready, you send your email. And that's it. So uh, yeah, quick video, very easy going. Uh, hope that uh, made it easy for you. So yeah, if you like that video, you want more information about MailChimp, please consider liking or subscribing to my channel. Otherwise, uh, yeah, hope you have a great day and we'll talk to you again soon. See you later.